Hi, it's Ram here. Today I'm gonna make a video uh, for epilepsy. Actually, this disease is really very dangerous uh, um, uh, because one of my friends he, he's uh, very close to me and uh, he's suffering from this problem. So I'm gonna make this video for him, and uh, as well as I hope you can also get benefit out of this. So just have a look how I'm gonna do that. <coughs> So in this sequence, uh, uh, the, uh, the patient should be practiced should be with a very slow and with a breathing awareness so that maximum benefit he or she can get out of the uh, practice. So uh, first I will start with the, the sun salutation, the traditional one. So. <coughs> Feet together, adjust the arms in front of the chest. Now, as you inhale, take your both arms up and bend back. Exhale, fall forward and go down and try to hold the knees if it's possible. Take your right leg back. Drop it on the floor, toes are tucking to the floor, keep up. Look front or you may drop the right knee on the floor. Keep sinking down and look up. Same way, left foot back, left leg back beside the right foot and maintain a gap of 6 inches apart in between. On to plank pose. Now drop the knee chest in on the floor. Now as you inhale, slide your chest forward and lift your head, chest up. Look up and turn back. Exhale, now hips up, head down. Now take your right foot forward in between the both palms. And your left foot forward beside the right foot. And try to hold the knees if it's possible. Inhale, take your both hands forward, making your back straight. Come up and bend back. Exhale. Back to Namaste. Jump palms. <coughs> so repeat the, this is the practice with the right leg. The same practice you should repeat with the left leg. When you will repeat twice with both feet, then this will be called as one round. So you should practice a minimum two rounds. Or you may increase the number of rounds. Three, four, it's a favorite to be slow and breathing awareness. And after that, come to the relaxing position, the child pose. Maintain a gap of 6 inches apart the hips, sweat the apart in between the knees and feet. Yeah. And slowly come to the Ustrasana or Camel pose. Both hands sideways. Now turn to right side, put your right hand on the right heel and hold the right heel. And bend back. Push your hips forward at the same time you are bending back. And slowly come up. Exhale, go down. The same way, repeat with the opposite leg. And when you finish with the both legs, then with the both legs. Hips pushing forward, open the chest, drop your head down and bend back. Look back, push your hips forward at the same time. 
Chest open up and low down. Go down low. Again, slowly come up. Take your right arm up. Left arm up. Exhale. Again, go down. You may hold the heels from outside and keep pulling forward. Now here we will practice the head standing. <clears throat> so follow the instruction for the head standing. Now come back to the mountain pose of down jog. We will go for the samadharasana. Take your right leg up, bend it and turn. Twist to the left side and lower down your right leg on the floor. At the same time, lift your hips up and go down. If it's possible, try to toss the floor with the right hand fingers. Make sure your right leg is bending, left leg straight. And slowly come up. When you come up, go for the king pigeon pose. <clears throat> And the same practice is the opposite leg.
I will practice uh, one breathing called as uh, alternative nostril breathing. It is called as it is very famous uh, as uh, Anulom Bilom. So in this practice, <coughs> just use your right hand. Make sure you use your right hand. Your thumb and the uh, ring finger or you may use the middle finger. It's okay. Okay. Now, for uh, the alternative breathing, you can start with the with the only one uh, nostril, like a, you are inhaling and exhaling the same nostril. Inhale and exhale with the left nostril. Inhale and exhale left left nostril. Okay, ten times. So after that, you change to the right nostril. Inhale and exhale ten times. Then after that, so with the both nostril, inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Like this. Let me show you. Inhale and exhale. Right. Inhale. Right. and exhale so this is the second position okay now the third one is a inhale to the left left nostril now hold the breath inside and exhale to the right inhale to the right Hold the breath inside and exhale to the left. So this is one round. You should practice minimum ten times. And the fourth one is inhale to the left. Now hold the breath inside. Exhale to the right. Again, hold the breath outside. Now inhale to the right. Now hold the breath inside and exhale to the left. So this is a four steps of alternative breathing. Okay, so you should go step by step one, two, three, four, so that you will be more benefited and you will be. Um, like a systematic way you should practice okay so after this uh, practice you should do um, this breathing so that you will be 